Hey, what's going on everyone? So in this video, it's kind of an informal video, I'm going to show you uh, basically how I as a programmer use code to solve like everyday problems that I have at work. So I don't necessarily always use coding for web development. I also enjoy automating stuff. And I mean, even if it's really simple stuff, if it's a mundane task that, you know, takes a while to do, and there's a way that I can do it with coding, then I'm always more interested to solve it with code than I am to like do it manually. And I encourage you to get in that mindset too, where if there's something that you do, like sending emails or writing, parsing spreadsheets, anything like that, try to figure out a way to do it with code because you could save yourself a lot of time. Sorry for my squeaky chair. Uh, okay, so the issue that I'm encountering is on Udemy, some of these resources don't have the, the proper file extension. So like this one lists uh, HTML, it doesn't have the .zip extension. And I think if I refresh the page, should have it now because I just uploaded it a second ago. And that was here, I think, HTML lists. So there's the, the file that I added to fix it. Um, and so I'll have to go back and delete the old ones once I've tested the new ones to ensure that they work. So that's just one section. There's 41 sections in this course, uh, I think something like that. And there's like 141 of these resource links, uh, just these boxes. And then within them, there's multiple resources. Some are working, some are broken. And so it's kind of a chore trying to fix it. Um, I try to get Udemy to fix it and they're still doing whatever they're doing. Uh, Anyway, I won't go into that, but here's section four, which is where I am now. I'm just trying to do it one little bit at a time. And so you've got all these different resources. And so I can go in here and just control click to download these. I tried to downloading all of them simultaneously with jQuery, but uh, was unable to get that to work because of this error right here. Some of these resources are broken which is another thing that has recently been introduced, which is driving me crazy. Um, it's like, I can't, I can't even fix that one right now, which kind of sucks. But for what I can fix, that's what I'm going to show you what I'm doing in this video. All right. Well, for the sake of not making this video drag on forever, let me just show you how I fix the files that I have. So the, here in the downloads directory, we have one, two, three, four, uh, files and none of them have a .zip extension. So some of you may have run into this issue, but basically, you double click and it doesn't know what to open it with because it it doesn't have an extension. So your computer's like, what the heck is this? And so I assume that these are all zip files. Some of them might be HTML files, but we'll figure that out in a moment. So I'll put them inside of a directory called broken, and then I've got this app.js file. It's actually open over here in VS Code. Well, it was open. I'll have to, here it is. Okay, so I'll make it a little bit bigger so you can read it. I know my screen is dimmed, it's nighttime here, so hopefully that's not too annoying or difficult for you to read. But let's just go through this code real quick. It's, it's not very many lines of code, it's something that basically anybody can do. We're requiring the path, I'll show you why we're gonna use that in a minute, and then we're getting something called join from path, read their sync and rename sync from FS, which is, uh, I think it stands for like file structure or something like that. It's a uh, native package for Node.js. A file system is what it stands for. And then we have dir that we're pulling from this array. And this is process.argv.slice. I'll show you what that is in a second. And then this is a matching thing, which I took out. I might put that back in here in a moment to, to fix something that I just noticed, but we'll get back to it. Here's all the files from the directory using this thing called read dir sync, which is coming from file system. And so the main package here is file system. That's what you use to like read files and folders and stuff and then rename them and all that stuff. So here we have all these files and we're just doing a really simple dot for each loop. Uh, the developer that I pulled this plugin from on GitHub, the way they format it, they drop the for each to the next line. That's fine. It's not a big deal. It's just a little different than how I would write it. but. They have the file for each file and files. We're checking to see if the file has an extension and if it doesn't, then we go ahead and we rename it and we add the .zip extension. 
And so the directory, we just have to point it to the broken directory and then we'll output it to the fixed directory. So instead of putting, so basically here on this line, we're saying file path is equal to join the directory and we'll, we'll input the directory whenever we run the app.js file and then the file name, we're just calling it file. And then the new file path is the directory and the file name plus zip. Well, I actually want to put it in dot forward slash fixed. And here with dir, that's just so that we can say like node app.js and then just tell it go into the current directory that we're in. If we were in a different directory, we could, we could navigate to the downloads directory. But for the sake of simplicity, we can actually get rid of that. And then anywhere where we have the word dir, we can just replace it with dot forward slash. Or if, if you want to give it the absolute path, you just go tilde uh, forward slash downloads, which may or may not work. Um, this is a bash terminal inside of Windows, so that might actually throw things off. So what we'll do is dot forward slash, because we're running the app.js file from inside the downloads directory. All right, so it's going to find the file and it's going to basically rename the file from this current directory that we're in. And actually, it's not going to be the current directory, sorry. It's going to be broken, right? Each of the files is inside broken. So it's going to find all the files inside broken, one, two, three, four. It's going to iterate over them. If they don't have an extension, a .zip or anything else, then it'll go ahead and take the original name and use it to rename itself to the new name with .zip on the end. And so just to see that working, assuming that my code is working, we can run node app.js down here in the terminal. And you can see that everything inside broken disappeared. And it actually moved these files over into to fix. Now I already had some in there previously. Uh, but you can see here we've got form intro.zip and Pokemon solution HTML.zip. Pokemon data.zip. So that's great. That's working. Uh, the one thing that I'm, I actually want to change here is these plus signs, I think, were added on from the browser or when they were the files were downloaded. Um, kind of annoying. I'd almost rather just not have them at all. Uh, they're, they're replacing what, what was a space, and that's kind of annoying too. Um, I think probably the best thing is just to use camel case or uh, yeah, it's camel case. So no spaces, just the delimiter would be a capital letter on each uh, of the first words in the string of words. And so to do that, we'd have to use a regular expression. Um, and I think we can just do it like on a string. So the new file would be like file dot replace and then we look for the plus sign which I think you have to do a you have to escape it because I think the plus sign means something in regular expressions I'm not a regular expression master but uh, and then we'll do I guess G global flag so anytime if there's more than one plus sign like list solution HTML it'll take both of them and it'll replace them with an empty string and then we'll take the result of that, which is actually, it should be a string, so we can just like throw it into uh, parentheses here and then add zip. Now, nothing is inside of broken anymore, so just for the sake of this working, we have to do it inside fixed. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, let's find out. Okay, so it ran, and new file path is fixed should be file dot replace what we can do because nothing happened as you can see is check file dot replace and see what it returns and we can run this again doesn't return anything uh, I'm almost positive that you have to escape 
This is interesting. All right, so for running app.js, it's getting the files from the fixed directory. For each of the files, let's go ahead and just console log the file name, just to make sure we're doing that right. All right, so that's, that's where we're going wrong. Something is happening where it's not logging the file names. So let's figure that out. So files is equal to read their sync dot forward slash fix. This is the fixed directory. So it should give us all the files. Okay, so here's an array of all the file names and they're all strings. And so then files for each, uh, okay, so here's the problem. Hopefully you saw it and you're sitting here going, Ian, you're an idiot. Uh, I have this if statement that checks to see if there's a file extension and all these files have a .zip extension, so they uh, would be ignored. And so to fix that, we should be able to just do this now. Run it again, and it's something broke. Uh, invalid left-hand side in assignment. So I don't, I don't think it's a plus equal, so I think it's just going to be a plus zip, and let's try that. Cool. So now if you look in the fixed directory, you can see basic tags, HTML, zip, zip. That's funny, it added the, it added the zip extension. Uh, <laughs> so we can do a quick fix for that too. Um, and you may have guessed what it is, but it's really simple. Basically, we're just gonna put uh, dot .zip in here. And then we're not gonna do it globally, we just wanna replace the first instance of it. And then we're going to get rid of this dot set. We don't need to append another one here. And so that closes, that closes, and that closes. Three closing parentheses. So it's, I don't know if the dot is something that we need to escape, but we'll find out in a second. OK, cool. So if you look at all the file names, they all had the second or the, the first dot zip that was encountered got replaced with an empty string. And so now what we end up with is the file name, no more spaces, dot zip. So that's nice. I like the look of that. Now I'm gonna take all of these and upload them, but just so I can show you, if we reveal this in the file folder, these are all now zip files. So before they were broken, if you recall, we tried to open them, it wouldn't let us open. Now if you double click this, I would have to extract it, but you can see the file offhand, tables.html. So that's the contents of the zip file. So just adding the zip extension fixed it. You can see there's Rusty, and we can just keep going through these just to make sure that they're all zip files. And it looks like they are. This one has Pokemon data.txt, list solution.html. So adding dot zip to the end of these fixed them. Now you may think, man, why don't you just like right click and rename or, or figure out some way to do it with the UI. But I just like solving things with code. Plus, if you think about in terms of scaling, if I were to download every single one of the broken files now ideally I'd be able to do it with code that part too and I tried um, at some point you have to decide how long it's taking you to do it with code is it worth it or should you just do it manually because if you can't get it working with code then you have to go back and do it manually anyway so it's essentially time wasted in this case I opted since I couldn't figure it out with code just yet for downloading all of them uh, I opted to just download a section at a time and just do it you know a couple sections a day for the next couple weeks or whatever uh, and then I just had this whole wrench thrown into the works with the <laughs> files that aren't even downloading so now I have to like go back and figure them out and fix them super annoying but the whole point of the video is just to show you that you can use nodes file system if you look up FS node you'll find tons of documentation on all the different things that you can use and do with it this is just a really simple example but if you had, let's say, like a hundred of these files all at once or more, something that would take you, you know, potentially, I don't know, however long it takes you to rename a file, like, let's say, 300 seconds or something, 500 seconds, this would take you like two seconds to run it, plus whatever time it took you to code it. But it didn't take me very long to write this. Most of it I just found. I just Googled rename file and somebody had a script with Node.js and I just borrowed it and tweaked it to how I needed it to be. 
So anyway, uh, that's enough of taking up your time. If you stuck around, thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, hopefully you enjoy this kind of stuff. I intend to do more of this kind of thing, just showing how I automate stuff. Automation really interests me. I would say probably more so than web development <laughs> most of the time. It's just, it's a nice little hobby. Uh, so hopefully it interests you too. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. We'll catch you all in the next video.